It's always a good town when there's a real waitress sign as you walk in. <laughs> this is potentially... <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> ...the busiest town in the earth. Look at Minstrel's new branding, by the way, right, completely around Beautiful. But this, honestly, it seems quiet now. It seems beautiful and picturesque as we pass Artichoke and various other independent stores in the sleepy Sherbourne. However, as we enter the stores, we enter pure... Unadulterated chaos. Easy for you to say. Oh my good lord. This yep. is the busiest place on earth. Yep, get ready for it. It's like jumble sale. It's like point, point your elbow, sharpen your elbows. Yep. Because you've got to beat off some. We, we, we had a quick look in here, but to be honest, we Ladies. came back later. What? I didn't finish my sentence and then I finished it late and I it just. Did I interrupt you? Did I? Yeah, probably. I, I, I hadn't spoken like for the like the whole pretty much intro. I was so you sorry if I'm taking your audio time, lady. So this this footage may be a bit patchy, just purely because it's pretty shonky. It was so busy that we were looking at a rail, and then a, a lady would just be on you. Yeah. Not uh, me on Austin, obviously. Obviously. Babe magnet. Uh, babe magnet. I don't even say that anymore. <laughs> that genuinely makes me smile. Um, it's more the fact that, to be fit, like, I don't know, they, they're just everywhere, these people. And, 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 <laughs> Looking you know what? for their own you, you, you things. You, you, know, you turn around and they're on you, though. They are, aren't they? Yeah, it's yeah. like, find a space, go and stand there, and then two seconds later, someone will follow you and... Be as that close was to a your back. British Heart Foundation. No, it wasn't. It was a You're lying. British... Margaret? No, I don't even no, know. Why do you why do you why do you insist on telling people? British one. Anyway, we come back to it. That's what it's getting at. This is a Margaret. It's not a Dorothy, a Margaret. Come on, if you care what shop that was, please. Everyone cares. I don't. This shop basically saved us, saved the whole journey. These were cool. Uh, new new balances or like like one a couple of times. I think they were three. I want to say three three six twos three Which six threes. Which is the best? Um, no, and they were ten pound. They were nice, but they were ten pounds. So. Eh, eh. <laughs> Are you gonna do like the whole video? No, but I feel like that would be fun. No, it wouldn't be at all. I think someone was sat there. See, White Austin goes off and peruses the men's section. I'm just finding banger after banger. Banger after banger, that's what you want, Oh, you it? found those shoes in the men's section? Yes, I did. But once again, you're finding banger after banger. <laughs> Slow your roll, player. These are toast. These are toast. They're a size 8. Um, shout out to all my ladies with the big feet. Um, I don't know. I don't, mine was 6, 7. But yeah. uh, there's some ladies who have uh, bigger size feet. These are a 42, so I would classify them as an 8. I was um, trying to show the label. Yeah, I actually had to pick the label off, and I think they hadn't been sold, or no one had really picked them up because the price label was over the toast. It just said cut yeah. the tea, and obviously I know the logo, but they're super, 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 super soft leather. Like I'm talking super soft leather. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, like a sort of white with a grey tone. That's how I would describe them. Pins lovely, out. <laughs> lovely legs there, Austin. Beautiful. Um, however, they were eight pound fifty. Um, a little bit pricier. I say that really loosely because I'm going to put like 50, 60 quid on them. So. This was Fari by Nicole Fari. Um, I, we didn't pick it up because I think, I don't know how much it was exactly. I've got a few things sitting in the shop and I, I'm sometimes I get yes. a bit brand fa like fa yeah. hatred. So like just to clarify, Fari is kind of like not full, full line Nicole Fari. So it, unless, it, like you say, unless things are moving quick, we don't tend to pick them up. Um, I better get a flurry now of Nicole Fari and I eat my I hope words. So. And that happens sometimes. Just manifesting. Just I can never say that. Manifesting. 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 Yeah. Oh, see, so you mess with me. Not festering. Yeah, That's like disgusting. Like, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, just stop. Oh, this is a cool one, actually. Uh, if I show it, please, God. Oh, this is really cool. cool Look at this for footage. Um, this was, here we go. This I got grabbed the belt because it was with it, but the belt's not really worth a lot. Um, this was an original Harley Davidson belt buckle. Nineteen eighty. That's the bottom of some shoes. Nineteen eighty nine. Show I'm, the buckle, man. Yeah, Show it. Well, let's describe it. It's got an eagle on it. I think it's got like a, a some kind of inlay as well. Oh, Austin, that is absolutely like honestly. This is me actually just making sure this belt is to go with it. You cool yourself because like I, I didn't want him to think I was stealing the belt, <laughs> so I had to make sure it clipped on. Um, it's got an eagle and an American flag. I'm pretty sure it's, it's like the, it's like the OG like um, a proper like Harley a belt Davidson. Buckle. Show the belt man. What's wrong no, with you? He doesn't show it. It was five pounds. There you oh. go. Here's the money shot. <laughs> there it is. 
born in the USA. Don't, just don't. No one wants to hear it. I was singing for it and sing earlier today. Right, there you go. It's an official one. It's from Harmony Design. And it's from 1989, I believe you said. Yeah, that was a good year for births, wasn't it? You weren't born that year. Neither were you. So why no. would that be... Well, for anyone else out there who was, well done you. Or, or, I or you whoever... Were, I thought you were born then. Whoever you made weren't. you. You weren't, sorry. I think my brother was born. Anyway, long story short, that's a Harley Davidson. They what? go for about thirty pounds now. However, it's really worth looking up because some go for a lot. This quickly is a J.W. Anderson. J.W. Anderson is obviously pure, unadulterated gold. Luxury. However, this is J.W. Anderson for, uh, for Euclio. Uniqlo. Uni Uniqlo, sorry. Um, which obviously does quite well. Certain pieces do best than others, especially with the logos on and, like, all that good stuff. However... That's... That wasn't one of those pieces. Um, no, it was going for about £30. And, they wanted um, and They wanted 15 or 20 only oh, twelve fifty, okay. Austin. Um, and, and do you know what? It wasn't. It, it wasn't there for me. So we put it back. However, I also got a toast Breton, like a little nautical number that I just showed you. And we're now we're looking at sunglasses. So just quickly to go back to the belt, it was five pounds. They got for about thirty. That's the Harley Davidson belt. These sunglasses I'm holding now, they, they sell a lot of these actually in TK Maxx. They're a great Lee specs. They're a good brand, but. Not something we pick up, per se. Um, they sell them on their supporter for about £40. These were £4.50, so there is room to make a little bit of a, but a profit. But The just, other ones, the know. other ones which were from Dodge Gabbana, we did pick those up. I think i take those off weirdly to show you. Um, I say weirdly, I'm showing you. Or maybe I don't, whatever. You want my phone, lady? Yeah, okay, there. Give me them, give me them. I am what they call the cart horse. That's what you were born. You were born to have long limbs to carry was, clothes for me. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So these were seven fifty. I want to say. Yeah, which is pricey, pricey. But Sherborne is a pricier. But with the town. with the case, and these are quite recent. They're probably about I don't know. I don't know. They're not that recent. The last yeah, they're like, the last like I don't know five ten years though. That's quite long. <laughs> yeah, they're not vintage or anything, are they? No, 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 no. But they're aviators, which is quite a classic wearable style. You say that, like most of the charity shops carry current like season. It's not no, like I that's charity shops for you, isn't it? When you say recent, I would expect like a year. Oh, like or last two. week. <laughs> They've just come from the boat. No. Maybe it's happened before. Like so rare, is even worth talking about. Is that... yeah. So what else is happening oh, currently I don't know. in the video? Um, Sherbourne, right, here we go. Let's get into the clothes. What is this? Oh, these are the clothes, you know, that like great labels are great prices. And they're they never really, are. They're really expensive. But they never great labels here. However, either. sometimes if you go to like a more like this wasn't you with bad tag, town, like a not a great town, they normally have half price sale on them because they can't shift them. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's true. So that's a good tip. Also, this 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 rail. I think it was mostly new attack. Actually, I think that was the point of the rail. Um, but That's I think the whole point they, of the they, rail. Ha they had. Um, no, you made a point of saying it was certain brands. Or no, it like, no, it's new. It's like new. I mean, like, yeah, they get sent it. But some of the some some of the brands they had like four items with exactly the same yeah. size, and it's just it's a bit like uh, end of season and stuff. And these companies and factories send them to them. I do understand the retail business side of it. Oh, Thank sorry. you, Bethany. I what having, I was getting at was I from a resale. No, no, I, I understand fully what's going on in this shot. But thank you ever so much for making me feel so small whilst whilst recording so I like this. I think very special. Special. Mm, let's not go there. So, okay, um, I'm flicking through anyway because I'm just determined to find something. But guess what, guys? I don't. Nice things though. If you want them for yourself, then yeah. that's very true. And they are a lot cheaper than you'd buy them in store. There oh, I am. They, <laughs> zipping past. Still putting the... Oh, you, I think you're putting the JW Anson back. Yeah, I changed Oh, my this mind. is quite a good one. Is it? I'm being a bit preemptive here, aren't I? That was a way preemptive. Like, the thing you're looking at is, like, halfway down the rail. Do you find anything else? Yeah. Austin did this really annoying thing to me in this shop, actually. He went to the till More than before one. I had finished. Honestly, that is such bad behaviour. No, I'll tell you what happened. I don't even know if it's on film. It probably would be. It probably wouldn't be because you would probably, you're, you're probably setting me up for this one. The NG so, shorts, Dolce and Gabbana shorts, same time period as the sunglasses, probably the same person. Big, big shout out to that person. Thank you very much. 
what I was actually going to say before you before you ruined me was these things did not have a price label. So I took it to the uh, the, the beautiful lady at the counter. Beautiful. And she was about 105 years old. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but she was that's she was a, a nice that's lady. That's a made well top, by the way. Made well does quite well for me. Um, 25 to 30 for a, a, like more, you know, a top with something about it, if that makes sense. Um, that one was five pounds, which is perfectly acceptable to me. Um, what they sell for? I just said twenty five to thirty. You okay. you even listen to me? Not really. I be honest. I do. I do kind of just zone out. <laughs> anyway, Austin took the shorts to the till to ask the price, and she ended up just putting everything through the till. There you go. So I had to rush. So so let's just go back. It to was that. like when I put every. Sweep. It was... <laughs> exactly. So now I'm just going right through everything to see if there's anything else because I am being. Well, I think at some point I'm being rushed by the lead, like you say. Nothing like a leopard boot, that's all I'll say. The Dolce & Gabbana shorts are £4, by the way, in the end, just to let you know, guys. And currently, what, what would you sell them for well, in the today's you know current market? There's a real thing at the moment, mark my words, you hear it here first. Your words are marked. For slightly longer shorts this season. So you know like those awkward length shorts that were like in a few years ago and then they went out and Like mid-2000s? Yeah, they, they finish just above your knee. And I've seen like there's some cult classics at the moment. You know like those pieces that go viral and everyone has to get. Yeah. Zara have got a pair of them with a raw... Raw hem, hem. Yeah. and a slightly wide leg. Anyway, so those are similar styles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and jump on that trend. Oh, this is lovely. Bethany picked this. Of course I did. Amazing piece. This is uh, by Melanie Berger. Don't be put off by Melanie Berger. This uh, dress retails for about five hundred to six hundred uh, UK pounds. Fully sequined maxi dress. Um, categorized in sort of like ball ground evening events. Ball ground specifically. Ball ground evening events sort of thing. Um, I would look to get two hundred pound back for that. And it was. 25? It, no, it was 15. 15. Which is a bit more than I would like to pay for a dress. But honestly, we're just being picky there, aren't we? This is a Windsor London skirt, 100% merino wool in my favourite oatmeal beige. In, ca in case we don't show the label, which I probably won't, it's yeah. W-I-N-S-E-R, not Windsor as in the place. No, yeah, For Windsor. people who haven't heard of that before. Um, I've been selling that really well. I sold a cardigan the other day for 75. Yeah. Um, that over there as well. Did you see that red stripe thing? Did you? Did yeah. you? That was Ganny. It was Old Label. Old Label Ganny. But Ganny obviously is like the hottest brand in the world right now. Just down in London town. I've got a song in my head. Don't. Anyway, sorry. Um, that was an old... <laughs> Why are you determined to sing constantly? That was an... I'm starting to... I'm trying to start my singing career. Um, <laughs> that was a Ganny Old Label. How was that label. going for you? <laughs> Badly. Gany that was a Ganny Old Label. It was £6.50. But Ganny obviously is really popular, so we bought it. It's a red and white, sort of like Breton stripe number. Um, Austin, you're all about the awkward, um, this rubbish angles. Of was Max today. Mara a Max Mara blazer, which you're missing for a change? It was £25. It was 20 but. I just resent paying 20 And this is a mint velvet for 25 Yeah, when they're doing that with mint velvet, I, I sort of like make a stand and like, say no ladies. There's money and all those things, but I don't understand why you'd like, when you've paid that much, you're going to want to recoup as much as possible or make you know X amount of, on top of that. And there's just not a lot. That was actually a really cool Oakley case, but it was for uh, ladies and glasses and predominantly Oakleys being sexist as I am not. Um, uh, ladies Oakleys don't sell like men's do. Simples. Yeah, the wraparound ones are really good and the polarised like lenses. They're amazing. Basically, the weirder they look, the better they are. Ski goggles, anything like that. Yeah, if, if they look like batch, you, you know what? You're um, not going to do I was going to swear. <laughs> I do naughty. Just to clarify, as an adult male, I swear constantly when I'm not when we're not doing this. I don't. You are so wrong. But we try like and watch our, we would try and watch our mouths whilst we're doing this. Out of respect for everyone, including ourselves. <laughs> There's no respect here for ourselves. I have no respect for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you guys then, not so much us. Uh, I, men's is really dry. This was this, this was kind of cool. Uh, it was a light pink oh, YSL I didn't see that. vintage. Um, the only thing was, I think I'm pretty sure it was a double cuff, like a French cuff, which just don't sell as like much. A dress shirt. Yeah. It was a nice pink though. It was a very nice pink actually, and that was Zenga Sport. Um, 
I can't even say the first word. How do you say the first word? Ami- Emilio? Emilio Ami- Zenga. Zenga is a, a really high-end brand, but Zenga Sport sells for like next to nothing, so don't be duped. It's sort of like a Scarlet Sport in there. Yeah, but it doesn't sell like anywhere near. Oh, what's that? That looks nice. This, I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't um, oh, anything. anything great. I thought originally I thought it might be um, the signal Paul Smith. Smith. Yeah, but they were too light. Ooh. That was a vibe. I never get slippery men, so it was really interesting. Sometimes, like, do you ever? It sounds funny, but do you ever pick Ooh, anything? That's quite cool. Oh, am I, did I say that? That is right. So see, it's see this thing cool. here, right? Now, I, I, Brasher. No, I was gonna say. I I didn't I didn't check this at the time because I didn't. Um, someone will probably tell me it's worth like ten thousand pounds now, and as I always say about like trying to learn and research brands, everyone should learn it. Like everyone needs to learn. Simple as that. You can never not learn. Put the I, comms I, in for it, whether it's good or bad. I, I, Yeah, I will. Uh, you know, uh, why I tell you I was why I looked twice at it though, as much as it looked like just a generic, it looked quality, but a generic fleece. It was like twenty odd quid. Oh, so so either they know something that I don't, Probably. which is fine, and that's 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 really <laughs> really easy to do, do. <laughs> um, or it's um, you're you're very rude to me on these. You understand that? I feel like our, I'm hurt our right now. Videos have become more about like us just like bashing each other and nothing Verbally. about reselling. <laughs> We do do reselling in between. We do a little, well, every now and then. <laughs> what am I looking at? Belts. Belts. <laughs> Belts. The, honestly, the, the, like, these Pots. shops, um, I don't know, It was. I felt today, like this day was, oh, hello. It was hard work. Look down there. Is that an ED? I love these. As you opposed know, to GG's. GG in there, an e, I yep. love that. I think that's so funny. Oh. My sheer bag there. No, thing. do you know what? I, I I can't remember why. I was looking at the label. The label reminded me of something inside. And sometimes you do get those. You can't say we haven't. We've had random, random, random bags for those. Um, from those like bins they put them in. Yeah, the bins. Yeah. It's like the, the American version of no, it's not like Goodwill bins, but it's not. Like uh, that. Yeah, they, they kind of you don't get that a lot in the UK, though, do you? They usually like, kind of stuff them put on a shelf bins. properly. No, we have so, outlet shops, but to be honest, they're few and far between. And and there's like you get good ones, and then you get like ones which just get literally all this rubbish that can't won't sell. Yeah, that is true. They were mini mint velvet. Did you see those? Yeah, they're, they're called, what are they called? Min- mint minty or mini? Mi- mint. Yeah, something like that. Um, no, that's they're called why... minty because it's mint velvet. Oh God. Yeah, Christ. minty. Um, but um, <laughs> that's what was, that's what caught my eye actually. Yeah, they're cute. I like this. But this shop used to get mint velvet donations. They were one of the first shops to get mint velvet donations. Oh yeah, you you, know, you mean like brand new tags? Yeah. yeah, kind of off season. I'm really into homewares at the moment as well. Just so everyone. Knows. No one cares, but oh, right. it, it's slightly annoying to me. No, it's not. You you actually you picked up a couple of what were they mugs the other day? Yeah, they were got by a brand mugs? called A C M E, and they were basically mugs that are made for coffee shops. Now we used to, we previously owned a coffee shop. Don't ask. Just not. It's not. It's just pointless asking. But anyway, we 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 did the coffee shop um thing and coffee shop um cutlery and mugs and stuff from like wholesales and stuff. It was a really proper expensive, ones, proper ones. I'm talking like about. non non chip ones. Uh, non smash ones. They are so expensive. Anyway, we found them in a charity shop, and uh, they were a pound each. So we bought a set of four, and they went within twenty four hours for thirty pounds. Yeah. So like. So look not... out for like uh yeah coffee shop brands. I know that sounds like really weird, but if you ever go into Welcome a coffee to luxury shop, pickers, ladies and gents, and you get like a really nice sort of like solid art solid. studio pottery looking cup, it genuinely is from like a wholesale brand that specializes in coffee shop i would suggest stuff. checking the bottom but obviously once you finish your chosen beverage otherwise it might be an issue yeah however that is something to look out for a that's, brand a, floor, that's one. a hell of a lot of florals there isn't it i love a floral if you are honest i'm a floral you know kind of girl gotta be honest, my, my camera my camera game in this particular video is i think i was weak. very yeah, it, like the weakest, I think. I feel sorry for Janet here. Trying to she look. felt bad and just moved on. Yeah. I bully boyed rather than way, didn't did. I? That was really mean. <laughs> sorry, Janet, think, if you're watching, I, I, I do apologise. Anything think, here that you found looks cool? Nothing at all. Nothing oh, at all. God. <laughs> It, even the camera, to be honest, it, it was it was so hard, and I I've got to say it was it was one of those days where the first shop we kind of hit big on. Oh, this was kind of cool. So this is Ralph, but they had it inside out, which just annoys me. So I, I changed it for them. Um, it was kind of like a texture. 
when I say texture, I mean like what what do you call it? Tech. Um, no, Pima. Like, like no, not Pima. Like <laughs> like 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 an armor or, or kind of a, like dry, a dry fit kind dry of fit. Yeah, yeah, that kind of fabric. But polo, um, the the that kind of stuff from polo is usually expensive. That I think was like eight or nine quid. God, you are That's negative a vibe. about the pricing, aren't you today? No, not at all. But it's just too much. Okay. Too much. I like the print on that dress. I don't know what that is. That was also um, it was uh, it wasn't vintage vintage, but it was older Nike. Um, the problem is they've used that logo for two different things. One was originally, I think, um, a running or like a sports activity kind of vibe, and the other was for football. Oh, the ninety logo. Or what is yeah. Oh, well, that's what they're trees? Now. So these are from Harrods. Harrods Capital. Capital A. Put in a comment if you get that. Um, uh, they were really nice, but they're like nine quid or something each, and not each, but <laughs> like a set. The negative pricing. I won't pay. No, but they were also tiny, like size two or three. Why are they in the men's section? I, I to be honest, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do this. This is not my visual merchandising. I cannot <laughs> tell you. I don't even know. What I'm looking at these at this point. So these were sketches, I think. Sketches, yeah, they were, yeah, sketches. To be honest, I think charity shops at the moment are not. I'm not going to say they're dry, but they're they're drier than usual. Like um, desert, even, arid. No, well, we watched watching a bit of rubbish around recently, and um, he's ha he's finding them a bit dry as well. Um, so maybe this it's was like a, uh, Balmain Paris. Oh, sorry, maybe it's a donation thing. Balmain Paris is also very good. However, they went for a period of making dress shirts that are awful, and you could buy them um, for like twenty pounds in a packet. Yeah, at, like TK Maxx. Oh God. Um, and that was one of them. Once again, French. You do, you can usually tell right, by yeah. French sleeves, French cuffs. I should say French sleeves. That would be hilarious. They were like just like flag. <laughs> That's so racist. No, it's not. It totally is. I Are you saying every French person ever is like is like appreciation for the bread? Yeah, I understand that, and you don't have to talk to me about uh, you know dough based products. What I'm saying well, is, no, French people are famous. The French nation is famous for making some kick. Bread. Okay, well, let's just let's just move past the extreme racism in our videos, that shall we? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has any bread-based comments, leave them for no, us. No, don't leave uh, them. We, I can I can feel the hate. I can feel the hate as we speak. Yeah, because <laughs> we're not giving good content. Yeah, well, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, like, a look at it. Look at it though. You can, do you not get the vibe? You know when you go into some charity shops, yeah. if you like, can not smell it. In the air. Not just you. I'm speaking. I'm speaking to um, anyone who decides <laughs> to actually watch this. You, I, you, I don't care so much. <laughs> you answer, but no, genuinely, do you, do you go into the shop sometimes and you like this has another vibe? I'm not going to pick much yeah, here. Hundred percent. Yeah. Sometimes I walk into the shop and refuse to look at the clothes because I. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you do, yeah. you do. I'm done here. You haven't looked oh, like ten rails. I don't like the so ones. So bad. If I'm honest, I don't like the ones that smell. Well, I think that's a given. Oh, this, this was, was really, really cool. nice. Yeah. Oh gosh, I found so this. So excited! I know. I found this. You can I see you gave I it to me. Chill. Would have bought this if um, I wanted to. No, it's a Ralph Lauren, slightly older piece, not too old. Um, oh, and like it's fully beaded and it's ruched up the side. Oh, it's fabulous. It's simply fabulous. But they wanted £10. And I like. I was like, no. Nah. It was worth £10. The problem is that specific piece is not like a, your everyday seller. No. So you're going to say, oh, this is amazing. I'll, I'll talk about this in a minute. These are Oshka linen trousers, guys. Oshka or wow. Oscar? Let me know. 35 Thirty two pound fifty. Um, these were meant to be blue. No, they were meant to be like a dark navy sort of color, and they're like faded out. You know the way linen fades. Which is fine if you're paying three pound fifty and not thirty two pound fifty. I would have paid like a tenner maybe because they were like quite cool, like lagery looky, balloony, like vibey yeah, vibe. uh, things. But thirty two fifty, and they were faded, and they were used. It's just a lot. I would expect it? that new with tags from like. One of these sort of joints, wouldn't you? Mm. Uh, going back to the Ralph Lauren top, what what would you expected? Even if I said you have to wait for it, but what would you expected to get? Maybe like forty, fifty, sixty. I I would have done more. You think? Yeah, I kind of regret buying it, and I don't really want to talk about it. Regret not buying it. Yeah, no, give us some I, info about this. That's a gold post box. It basically means the town's really rich. No, not no, at it all. Doesn't it means that that one so an Olympian came from there and got a gold medal during the twenty twelve Olympics in London? Who was that? I uh, it, I believe it was a shooter, but I'm probably I'm probably gonna get told differently. I don't know if the shooter is the exact name of the um, sport. What's the term like? Yeah, like maybe clay clay. No, I think it was just straight up shooter. I don't know. That don't know. is a 
well, compared the to conditioners, yeah. whatever it's called. This was free people. Um, sorry, I got really excited then. It was only cotton and it was a small size and it's cropped like tie front. I like the pockets, it's quite like safari esque. Did you buy that? No, I didn't. Oh, I, so I, stupid. I, I was losing my vibe by then. You know, yeah. when you lose your vibe, you, you should have had that big time. Yeah, I, I don't want to buy it. If I'm honest. However, what is this? This is Brum Perverbationarium. <laughs> it's there. Just read it. Oh, it's I, I can't even start with B-U- that. B-A-U-M and, and then a long word beginning with P. Um, but I can never pronounce it. But that does really well. If you can find that at good prices, that does really yeah, maybe well. Maybe pause it because there's no way in the world I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually try and say how it is. And I don't think you are either, are you? Um, but basically, that was it. That's the video. Um, apologies for not having like the greatest array of uh, pieces, but we had some good oh, stuff. And apologies for just us in general. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, see you soon with the next one.